All right, let's just jump, like, yet again, another terrible handhead out of China. And just look at this thing. Like, why do they come out with this? I know why they come out of it, because stupid people like me buy it. So this is the latest Nintendo Switch to come out of China, and I found it on AliExpress for a whopping $50. And I paid for that. I think it was $51, then I had to pay a $10 VAT duty, I don't even know what that rubbish is, but it came to like 60 bucks. I know you're already thinking, what a waste of money, but I'm doing it for your entertainment. So this is the Cool Baby, the, I, I, the, cool, I, the cool Baby video games. I have no idea. That's a big old barcode as well. Like there's barely any English on it. If it is English, it's broken English. So let's take a look at this thing. It does have a seven inch screen, uh, very similar to the Nintendo Switch. It comes with double game. No idea what that is. It has a HD connection, and this image here looks like some kind of weighing scales if you're into baking. We've got music that doesn't even look like a speaker, that looks like some kind of gym gear. And it's got the movie. Wow, what else could you ask for? And it's got ebooks. This is gonna be great, right? It has to be great. I've paid 50 to $60 for this thing. Let's take a look at it. So here's the packaging. There is the handheld itself. Oh, that is some premium packaging right there. Absolutely. Comes with a free absolutely nothing. Uh, you get, oh, okay, you get a controller. That was not expected. Let's take a look. You get a controller with your Nintendo. Ugh. Oh my God. This looks like a, if a Teletubby was a handheld, this would be it. Look at this thing. That is disgusting. Like, to be fair, it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, it comes with a micro USB, some earphones. Like, the, they always put these earphones in right. And I reckon you could grate cheese with this. They are so sharp, and I reckon you'll be bleeding after a couple of minutes. And you get a HDMI cable. That's quite nice, I'll give them that. Um, let's put that to the side here, and let's take a look. So this hand, this uh, controller here, it's actually more durable than some of the other consoles I reviewed. I reviewed a fake PlayStation 4 the other day. That was terrible, but this controller is actually better than what I've seen in that. So let's take a look at the Nintendo Switch. Oh boy, look at this. This is absolutely disgusting. All right, let's take this off. So there's not, there's no fingerprints fingerprints on it usually. Actually, there is. There is a couple of fingerprints. You probably can't see it. I don't know if I can get the light on it. Just there, there's some fingerprints. And I think a bit of spit. But who knows? Now, oh my god, that analog stick. Oh, that, that's like a donut. That every time I push it, it spins round. So there's very little. Does that come off? Oh yeah, that comes off alright. There's paper inside of it. They've put paper inside of it. Maybe if I take that paper out, maybe it's really loose. I was not expecting that. Oh, that's even worse with the paper out. So they've put paper in it to make it even more grippy. That is depressing. I'm gonna turn it on because I think it might take a while to load up, but who knows. So as you can tell, it's gone for the red and blue Joy-Con look. Um, it's got the D-pad, which looks Oh God, that is a depressing D-pad, all right. All right, so the screen's up. I will uh, turn off the lights in a minute and have a look at the screen. You've got the, the donut analog stick. I'm gonna call it the donut stick at the bottom here. Uh, you've got your volume up and down. Don't know why you'd want it down here. You'd probably want it like on the bottom or something. You've got the Cool Baby logo at the bottom. You've got your seven inch screen. I'm not sure if it's even HD, probably not. You've got your A, oh, look at these face buttons. Oh my lord. They're not nice at all. And you got your start select button. I think I just turned on the MP3. Dun, 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 dun. That's actually. All right, that sounds like a dead cat. How do I turn this off? Ugh. Do not want to be listening to that dead cat. All right, it's got your start and select at the bottom here. On the back, nothing crazy. 
apart from which looks like air vents, a speaker, and I'm guessing that's where they put their logo. So the things with this, right, is that a company makes them and then sells them to other companies. So if Cool Baby was smart, they'd add their logo. Another company like Pow Kitty could come along and put their logo and they just change the name, same console, same handheld, different brands buy it and say it's theirs. Uh, on the top, you've got your on off switch, your mini HDMI, two micro USBs. Obviously one is for this um, Teletubby controller, your headphone jack and your TF card slot. You've got your shoulder buttons, which is quite nice. Actually, they're, they're quite responsive. So it's got like this matte finish to it, which I actually really like. Around the sides, you know, it's quite comfortable. I'll give them that. Right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the handheld. Let's turn off the lights and see what the display is like. Now, you can already see those viewing angles. Oh my Lord, look at that. That is not good. So this display, it's not going to be very good at all. So let's, I'm hoping we can turn up the brightness on this thing because this is very dark. And the screen is big, I'll give it that, but uh, let's just go straight into game. I want to see what games it has on here. Oh, right. So it plays Super Famicom, Mega Drive, NES, MAME, Game Boy Advance, and they all come preloaded, which is actually quite cool. So should we try out Mega Drive? Should we play with the donut? Woo! It's playing. This donut, this donut is literally, it's coming off. Can you see it? The donut has literally fell off. Oh my God. That's not good. The donut's coming off. Oh! All right, it looks like the Donut is broken off on the first. Is it? Maybe not. That isn't good though. That thing was sliding right off. Oh, the donut is disgusting. And it's coming off again. Look at that. Like I've pulled. It's off. Bye bye, donut. Oh no. both shoulder buttons gets you out of it. Okay, so there's a look at Sonic on the Mega Drive. Um, nothing special, I'll be honest. It plays it okay. Not super fluid. The frame rate's a little low. The screen's really bad. The donut D-pad came off. Uh, analog stick, sorry, came off. You know, this ain't good at all. Now, I wanna try Game Boy because I know a lot of you are into your game. So it's got Game Boy Advance. So should we try Mario Kart and then we'll check out the Game Boy Color. Now this is playing quite well actually. Oh, look how thick Mario is on the back of Yoshi. Poor bugger. But there's been no like real frame rate issues at all. Audio's good, it's fluid. I'm digging that. Fair play. And to get out, you just go, you just press your shoulder button and come over to um, exit. Now let's go down the Game Boy Color because I want to see if they've actually got Pokemon on this thing. So I'll be well impressed. The viewing angles are oh not the best. Look how stretched that is! Oh my god! But I'm gonna take it. Look at that! Come on, Professor, get your balls out. I want the middle one because I'm a water boy. Let's go into the world. I don't know if you saw a little, it was a little frame skip there. You know, it can run it. It can play 3D games and there's Mega Drive, but that's all it can really do. There's no PlayStation 1 ROMs, you know. There's no N64 ROMs on this thing, even though I've paid $60 for this heap of crap. What is Sentry? Is it a squirrel? 
Is it a hamster? Is it a flying squirrel? I don't know. This thing is rubbish. For $60, it's not very good. The build quality is incredibly cheap. You know, they've definitely gone down the route of let's just make it big and make it look like a Nintendo Switch. Let's add a seven inch display. Let's chuck on some ROMs and hope for the best. You know, it's not powerful. I have no idea what the specs are, but because they've just put Mega Drive on, it's obvious that it can't run anything more than that because it will struggle. And it's got a little warm, I'll be honest as well. The design, there's nothing wrong with the design. The D-pad is terrible. The donut stick is gone and disappeared. The face buttons are disgusting and you know, they just have a very poor response. And the user interface is like something out of a, you know, late 90s handheld built for five-year-olds. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is a look at another fake Nintendo Switch. I've got plenty of them across the channel if you're interested, but I advise staying away from this one. Uh, it's just, it's not even worth a gag gift because it's so expensive. If it was like $20, yeah, you could give it to a friend, get a fake Nintendo Switch box, wrap it up, and it'd be quite funny, but my lord, $60 or $51 for this, don't even go there. So there you have it, a quick look at yet another fake Nintendo Switch which I found. Thank you again for watching another episode of What The Fake. Please do subscribe if you enjoy it because I've got a ton more fake consoles coming up in the near future. As per usual, thanks for watching. Peace.